Hi, this is Ant Minor Repair. This is the third video on this particular hash board. I was getting ready to pull a chip off. I haven't published it yet. I'll probably publish it. And I stopped because I wasn't happy with uh, identifying the chip I wanted to remove and replace. So this is uh, in interim. If this doesn't work, I'll still probably go back and try to identify the chip. But I did make mention in that video that uh, I didn't feel comfortable that chip wasn't so far out of whack as far as I could tell with the voltage and everything. And I was wondering if maybe there was something wrong in the middle of the board. So after I shut off the video, I removed every heat sink off the board, which takes a while and take longer to put it on. Um, and I went through and I checked every chip. This is chip 22. And um, <clears throat> what's interesting is I found two solder balls on this chip. One probably doesn't matter. Um, like the other solder ball I found on the chip when I when I was checking it out, that a clock error, maybe this is my clock error. Um, this the guy on this end right here probably isn't causing any issue, but the guy sitting right in between the two, um, huge problem. It's definitely, as far as I can tell, he's touching. Um, if if you look where these guys go. They go out to power supplies coming into the chip. So this chip is really having a difficult time operating. And I don't know, and we'll see, because I'll put an addendum after testing again, um, if by removing this solder ball right here, we'll fix the whole chip. And I've saved not replacing a chip I didn't need to. So um, pretty pretty interesting this big guy he looks pretty shiny I, I sometimes wonder did he just fall in because i took off the because i took off the heat sink um that could be um, although most of the solder on the board is on the other side you can't see um but so so i'm going to pull these out and i will put an addendum on youtube about this board i wish i could kind of combine the videos together but i i won't um of my testing after I, I pull these solder balls out. So let's do that and then I'm gonna leave this video. That's just a short guy. Um, yeah, my needle's kind of dirty, but uh, hopefully he doesn't pop too hard. That is a big, huge, yeah, where did it go? Great. So he flew off. Um, let's get rid of this guy just in case. And now I have a problem with that guy that flew off. I'm gonna go look for him after this video. Um, because I don't want him going to another chip. This guy's pretty big, but he wasn't in between two pins. So I'm doing this back. Okay, he's stuck on my pin. Hopefully, I can see on my board where that dude is sitting, but he might have flown clear off the board onto my desktop. So I'll basically um, turn my board sideways, and there's no heat sinks really to catch that catch that guy so I'm not too worried about him sticking around and I'll double check that area. It's really just the corner of the board. So I'll let you know if this fixes this board for zero ASIC. And that's kind of interesting because this is chip 22 having a power supply problem causing a zero ASIC, which we're always told, hey, it's either chip one or two or chip one or two or the power supply. And yet here's this guy. So it'll be interesting to know if this chip was just screwing everybody up and it wasn't getting any feedback and said, nope, I'll find anything. So we'll let you know. Thanks for watching.